So almost two months ago, I made a dual booting system where I had Windows and Arch Linux dual booted on different partitions but on the same hard disk. And this time, I wanted to experiment with Arch plus high plan setup. I've never been a fan of a window tiling manager because it doesn't seem like a proper desktop. But I was wrong and shocked. So what actually happened in the end is that I forgot that I had Windows. Well, it's an interesting story and it's gonna help you in your journey as well. So let's get started. Now, let me just tell you what I do properly. So, I'm a content creator that means I have to edit videos. For that, I use DaVinci Resolve Studio. And DaVinci Resolve Studio works flawlessly on Linux. Way better than Windows. The timeline is even smoother. The render times are literally twice as fast if you get the right drivers. And then the overall experience is just so damn smooth. The efficiency, well, I'll get to the efficiency part later, but everything is just so productive. And then the next thing I mostly do is just chill out and sometimes play games. And now you might think like, yeah, that is the place where I installed Windows. It's true that I installed Windows because I wanted to play games, but Linux also has Steam support. And if there's a Windows game and it doesn't have anti-cheat, or not so great anti-cheat and it allows Linux users then you can play flawlessly right? Nah. I played my favorite game Fallout 84 and it was really smooth. I got better graphics than Windows, better FPS than Windows and the overall experience was faster, fluid, snappy. Even though it was emulated through Proton compatibility layer, it was working better than Windows. So if there's a game which is available on Linux, then go for it. Most of the popular titles are available, like Cyberpunk or Fallout 84, Dota, Do, even Control if I remember correctly, then Tom Reader. So yeah, it all depends on if your applications and software set works on Linux or not. Well, if you're a video editor, DaVinci Resolve Studio will be damn good. If you're a gamer and you don't play AAA titles which are competitive like PUBG or Fortnite, then the next is just the way to go. But that was not the main thing which actually made me stick to Linux and forgot Windows. The thing which was actually able to do that was the efficiency. How efficient I was, not the laptop. Let me just show you how. Like, on Windows, I just open my laptop and then go through my applications, mostly go to the browser, start working, go to the editing. It's just normal stuff. But on Linux plus Hyperland setup, I just boot into my desktop, it's damn beautiful, first point. And then the application load times are way better on Linux. So yep, another point. And the overall workflow with multiple desktops and gestures and snappy desktops which are really efficient. You can easily go through multiple workspaces with multiple applications simultaneously. It's really good. Now you do have multiple desktops on Windows as well. But it feels a little laggy sometimes, like most of the times. Maybe it's the animations which are making it like that, but on this, I was really happy with that. And then comes the main thing. I'm a laptop user. Now, name one thing which is very important for a laptop user. It's the battery life. Especially when you're doing daily tasks and you don't want to charge your laptop 24-7. Now, on Windows, I had to do that. Even though it had proprietary drivers on Windows, which are actually made for Windows, Linux was able to outbeat that by almost like one and a half hours. I can literally use my laptop whole day, you know. My screen time is mostly equal to my laptop. So, I only charge it once, go through my work, edit my videos, play a game, listen to some music, and then done. My whole work is done and the battery life is still hanging there. Almost around 30%. Well, it has to do something with the power profiles. You can, you get this by default on most of the desktops like GNOME, KDE, even Hyperland. It's all maybe power profiles, daemon or I don't know, something like that. Or you can also use auto CPU frequency. That's an AI sort of tool which does everything automatically. But here you have modes. If I set it into efficient mode, my RAM usage goes down, my CPU get lock, gets locked up, but the efficiency goes top notch. And then, if you're still not convinced, you gotta see this desktop. It's Hyperland. It's literally called, you know, like, let me just tell you something. In Linux, we have some sort of a website or a community or a collection called Unixpawn. A place, a Reddit page where we all upload 
the desktops which are really really pleasing and just by looking at them you'll feel you'll feel a pleasure of a sort like if you're a key or a linux user you're gonna see the pleasure there are so many beautiful desktop and you can choose one install it in your own desktop or create your own and you can customize each and every part of the desktop by yourself according to your own preference and requirements that's what i did and now i have the desktop of my chief i'm gonna stick to it this is this has been the longest time i've not distro hopped once that's because i had the perfect desktop at last arch linux plus hyperland but there's only one but in the whole video you might not be happy with this if you're a beginner because having a just a normal arch linux distribution requires some level of experience in linux if you have used ubuntu or linux mint then switch to fedora based distributions and then to arch based distributions you cannot directly jump to arch based distributions it's going to be a i i know how to say it it will be a way bigger learning curve the commands are a tad different normal but what's actually different is the overall build most of the applications are going to be rolling release you're going to get arch user repository support you ha you'll have to set it up yourself arch linux is all about building a distribution from scratch by yourself i'm talking about the real arch linux not the arch based distributions and yeah just forget my hair i just i just returned from college and had a shower so yeah and now talking about the future i'm been a ton of best to stick to it and create more videos about it but if i see another better list distribution i'm going to create a video about it or if windows does something pretty awesome i'm going to create a video about it well on this channel you're going to have all the pleasure of a desktop key from linux or windows either place so yep subscribe if you don't want so yep subscribe if you don't want to miss that one and i'll meet you next video till then i'm on sign out and